Joseph Carton was an influential French mathematician who did fundamental work in the theory of Lie groups and the geometric applications. He also made significant contributions to mathematical physics, differential geometry, and group theory. He was the father of another influential mathematician, Henry Carton, and the composer Jean Carton. Life Elie Cartin was born in the village of Dolomieu, Isa, the son of a blacksmith. He attended the Lycée Janssen de Sailly before studying at the École Normale Supérieure in Paris in 1888 and obtaining his doctorate in 1894. He subsequently held lecturing positions in Montpellier and Lyon, becoming a professor in Nancy in 1903. He took a lecturing position at the Sorbonne in Paris in 1909, becoming professor there in 1912 until his retirement in 1940. Also in 1938 he participated in the International Committee composed to organize the International Congresses for the Unity of Science. He died in Paris after a long illness. In 1937 he became foreign member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. Work. By his own account, in his notice sur les travaux scientifiques, the main theme of his works was the theory of lie groups. He began by working over the foundational material on the complex simple lie algebras, tidying up the previous work by Friedrich Engel and Wilhelm Killing. This proved definitive, as far as the classification went, with the identification of the four main families and the five exceptional cases. He also introduced the algebraic group concept, which was not to be developed seriously before 1950. He defined the general notion of anti-symmetric differential form. In the style now used, his approach to lie groups through the Maurer-Cartan equations required two forms for their statement. At that time what were called Fafian systems were in general used by the introduction of fresh variables for derivatives and extra forms. They allowed for the formulation of quite general PDE systems. Carton added the exterior derivative as an entirely geometric and coordinate independent operation. It naturally leads to the need to discuss P forms of general degree P. Carton writes of the influence on him of Charles Riquier's general PDE theory. With these basics, lie groups and differential forms, he went on to produce a very large body of work and also some general techniques such as moving frames that were gradually incorporated into the mathematical mainstream. In the Travaux, he breaks down his work into 15 areas. Using modern terminology, they are these. Lie theory, representations of lie groups, hypercomplex numbers, division algebras, systems of PDEs, carton kahler theorem, theory of equivalence, Integrable systems, theory of prolongation and systems in involution, infinite dimensional groups and pseudo groups, differential geometry and moving frames, generalized spaces with structure groups and connections, Cartan connection, holonomy, WEYL tensor, geometry and topology of Lie groups, Riemannian geometry, symmetric spaces topology of compact groups and their homogeneous spaces, integral invariance and classical mechanics, relativity, spinors, publications, Carton, Ellie, sur la structure des groupes de transformations finis et continues, thesis, noni, lecon sur les invariants integro, Hermann, Paris, 1922, la geometrie des espaces de Riemann, 1925, lecon sur la geometrie des espaces de Riemann, Gauthier's Villas, 1928, La théorie des groupes finis et continues à l'analysis citus, Gauthier's Villas, 1930. Lecon sur la géométrie projective complex, Gauthier's Villas, 1931. La parallelisme absolue et la théorie unitaire du champ, Hermann, 1932. 
La Method de Repara Mobile, La Terre des Groups continues, A les espaces generales, 1935, Lecons sur la Terre des espaces, a connection projective, Galthias Villas, 1937, La Terre des Groups, Finis A continues, A la géométrie différentielle traite par la Method de Repara Mobile, Galthias Villas, 1937. Carton, Ellie, 1938, The Theory of Spiners, New York. Dover Publications, ISBN 9780-486-64070-9, Mr. 631850. Les systèmes différentiels extérieurs et les applications géométriques, Herman, 1945, Uvers Completes, Three Parts in Six Vols, Paris 1952-1955, reprinted by CNRS 1984, Part 1, Groups de l'I, 1952 Part 2, Volume 1, Algebra, Formes Différentielles, Systems Différentiels, 1953 Part 2, Volume 2, Groups Finis, Systems Différentiels, Terry's D'Equivalence, 1953 Part 3, Volume 1, Divers, Géométrie Différentielle, 1955 Part 3, Volume 2, Géométrie Différentielle, 1955.